Hey everyone, Tamayas here. Welcome to another Artery Gear video. So I'm just about to go to sleep, but uh, I felt like this is such an important video to make, and uh, I've getting I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys uh, regarding my grace and how I'm doing soloing uh, missions and everything and doing EX2. Um, so this is kind of an update video as well as uh, providing answers to your questions. So right now I'm actually in the X3 stage. And uh, what I'm doing is bring Grace to solo carry three fodders at level 50. So she's not six starred. Um, so if you remember my previous video, I talked about that I'm going to six star Grace. Uh, so to make my fodder farming a lot easier. And uh, she'll be able to do EX3. But uh, actually she can do EX3 without um, being level 60 or 6 star. And I'm going to show you how uh, all the, um, the stats behind my grace, all the things I do to make the success rate go higher. I'll explain everything in this video. Uh, so that's my run concluded. Um, so let's go back again. You can see that I did it 9 times and I failed 2 times. So it's not 100%. But the beauty is for this, um, you don't have to succeed 100%. Because for all the runs that you fail, you get a full refund, which is fantastic. So looking at the team, it's essentially 1 Grace and 3 Fodders. It doesn't really matter what Fodders you use. Um, I use the robots from level 1. And of course, you can use different things, whatever you're leveling. One thing to note is if you have a basic repair, um, having a basic repair on the team is actually very, very helpful. What you can do is set the plan. Uh, it should be, this should be the uh, the very basic uh, plan. Uh, so you don't need to change anything. But um, if Grace is alive and is the only person alive, um, the basic repair will cast a skill on Grace, which will heal her and provide attack up. But without it, it's still fine. You don't need basic repair. It's just there to be a bit more helpful if you need it. But three fodders, anything you can use. Uh, uh, level one fodders that need to level up. So this is EX3 again. Uh, just making sure that uh, I'm entering the right thing. Here we go. And uh, let's talk about some of the settings. So for air support you want to select Rayla 100% she provides a attack and critical chance buff uh, which is I believe 50% um, and stacks with other attack buffs so it's very 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 strong uh, and a lot of people don't know about it um, so uh, they don't use her because you have to enable it uh, during your AI stuff. So of course, when you do your AI thing, do challenge again, fail, stop when you reach max level, low energy mode if you want. I auto sell the gears because I don't use it as father, but um, I'm going to disable it because I think I've got enough money and uh, I need some gear fodder. So let's do that. No auto uh, retiring. And uh, do I have more stamina pots? I do. Okay, so let's do that. And fill with the backup energy so we talked about using the supports and let's show you how to enable it so once you're in game and again i'll show um grace's stat later on make sure you're doing attack boss first but it doesn't really matter if you're attacking puppets either uh, not as much uh, but here yours will be empty like this so you click on the arrow here to bring up the ais and then you click on rayla so this means that when it's Grace's turn, see the Grace, uh, she'll get um, the attack and the crit buff, which is uh, quite important. Um, because this exactly allows her to one shot uh, the wave that's coming up next, as well as the third wave. So you can see here, Grace is going to one shot the entire wave. Done. And then uh, Grace will uh, one shot the next wave with uh, uh, the minions and again I want to stress that there is a chance for the run to fail but it's fine because you get full energy refund don't worry about that it's still the best way and the most efficient way to use your energy okay so that's finished uh, because one of my unit reached max level, so it ended. And it's a perfect segue into showing my Grace's stats and where I get those gears. So for Grace, a uh, couple of things you must know. So here's my Grace level 50, and those are her stats. You can just take a look. And I'll go through what uh, brings her stats up. First of all, you want to upgrade her skills. If you can't upgrade her skills uh, to full, all of them, 
do two and three first. Two gives crit chance and uh, crit resistance and action bar push. And three is most important because it uh, provides damage. So I want to do these two first, but as you are farming the event, especially EX2, EX3, you'll get so many blue chips that you don't have to worry about them. I max Grace and I still have 31 chips. So you should you should have enough going forward. And my Grace has zero imprint, by the way. So if you have more imprints for Grace, it's only going to be easier for you. So here are her stats and her skill upgrades. And then let's look at her gear. So I want to stress that all of these gears are free. If you watch my previous beginner's guide, you'll know that I recommended you to do those quests and I'll show you exactly where to get it because um, some of you probably did not watch my video. So these four attack sets and the two crit sets are from your rookie missions. So I just got the crit set, which is in stage four. And I believe it's this one. So you upgrade an artery gear unit to six star and you, you get the... Um, uh, two crit pieces that are six star. So I did Ginga because as I'm creating content, I'm actually very behind in my progress. Um, this is not where I want to be on day two because this is a reroll count as well. Day two, I would have liked to have cleared the Centaur 7 and 8 already, but uh, uh, too bad I had to reroll and make content so I couldn't do it. But tomorrow I'll do uh, Centaur. But anyhow, I made Ginga 6 uh, start, uh, which well, let me catch up in center farming, but also most importantly, allow me to go into rookie training and claim those two crit uh, sets. And then in stage three, I believe, um, you get the five star attack set. So with these items, let's go to gear. With these items, you plus 12 the weapon because it gives attack and you plus 12 the boots because it gives speed allowing you to go before the enemy fodder and it just plus six the other two because you want the um, two sub stats to be unlocked and that's it for slot one to four and then for the other you can do plus six for this one you don't have to go to plus seven and you can do plus ten for this one that will provide you a very good baseline stat for grace to clear everything and for some of you um, you need to have her tech three unlocked the higher tech you have, the easier it will be, but tech 3 is the bare minimum because if you don't have Grace at tech 3, you cannot upgrade her skills. So I didn't have a chance on this account to farm her tech nodes because the blue one opens tomorrow and I missed day 1. Um, however, by just doing story, easy mode and hard mode, you'll have enough tech blue chips to have her at least go to tech 3 so you can max those skills. Uh, but yeah, that's essentially, I think the biggest thing is knowing where the gear came from and those are all free and upgrading them to 12, 6, 6, 12, and then 6 and 10 for the two 6 stars. Those are end game free gears that you'll get. And then after that, make sure when you're, um, spy some, make sure when you're farming, you have, you know, three fodders lined up and then having Rayla as obviously one of the, um, uh, as one of the support and enabling her um, during the oh, so this is one of the issues with LD at the moment uh, I just want to stress because it's happening right now it does lag and you have to wait uh, for it to go away so I'm just going to choose a random 3 star uh, and then you make sure you have Rayla as setting as air support and then in the fight like I showed earlier in the game you have to enable her and turn her on and you can then see your grace really really do well in the uh, the clearing stage so yeah that is a quick rundown um, I wanted to do this before I head for bed uh, and turn on my autos because I feel like this is very helpful for a lot of people. Most of the questions from my fodder guy were, how come your grace is solo and stuff? How come she's so strong? So I guess to allude to that, when you're doing EX2, I was doing with the level 40 grace and you guys were like, how? Um, so at level 40, uh, I didn't have these two crit sets because uh, those two you get when your unit is uh, six star. When you first start six star unit, you unlock this in the quest line. So I only had these four pieces, but even with these four pieces at plus six and all the other stuff I did, which is, you know, upgrading the skills, techno three and having Rayla, which is huge. Um, 
you'll be able to uh, to solo EX2 with three fodders using Grace. So yeah, that's essentially it. Hopefully this is helpful. If it was, please leave a comment to let me know that I've helped you. And uh, hopefully you'll be able to uh, successfully farm EX2 or EX3 moving forward. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for more tips and tricks. Um, him signing out.